Hey guys, John here, Balls by JP. Today we're we'll gonna be cutting clutch number three. I threw in two different males to this female. I had a banana male in there that had a lot of visual locks, like four or five visual locks. And then I put in an import male that I got with from uh, Mike Friedman at the Florida Reptile Ranch. So if it's that, I really won't know what it is until they come out. But let's see what we can do here. Got a normal looking baby in there. If you can see that real well. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to look and see if I see any of the dad's pattern. This also could be retained sperm from last year. If it's that, she was paired to a bumblebee. So we'll know if we get anything spider because I didn't pair to anything else with spider this year. Roll it veins off the top of this egg, try not to cut any. And this is day 55. Oh man, the banana's the daddy. Boom, look at that thing. Woo-wee. First bananas produced here. That's pretty exciting. Woo! I don't know whether my banana is a male maker or a female maker, but I would guess that he's a male maker. I'll have to get a hold of Garrick DeMeyer and see if he has, or if he knows for sure what it is. I'm sure he will. I just have to give him the numbers and records that he sent me and see if we can figure that out. Either way is fine with me. Even with the male maker, there's a chance at getting a female. Not very high chances, but there is a chance. I nicked a vein in that one. That was uh, normal. They're all looking good so far. I've had a couple. The first two clutches, I did have one egg in each one that was pretty badly either kinked or deformed or a little bit of both don't mind the blood that's just a vein it's not the snake I promise let's go with egg number four here we got eight in this clutch so I'm happy to see a banana that's pretty exciting hopefully it's not the only one we get but if it is, that's all right. But I don't think it is from the looks of this egg. Got another banana. You ready? Look at that. Another banana. Looking pretty good. Really, really good looking banana stuff. Awesome. Well, this clutch is turning out really good for me. I was hoping for some banana stuff, so. Now I have a proven male banana. <laughs> Let's see, we'll go with this one here. This is one of the bigger eggs out of all of those. Looks to be another normal looking baby. Yep. Pretty normal looking. Oh, he's definitely alive. Cover that back up. So, two bananas, three normals so far. Pretty excited about that banana stuff.
tried it with the banana last year and he just I don't think he was old enough it wasn't producing sperm plugs or something or sperm or anything this year looks like he did it I was trying to get some banana Mojave's out of the last clutch and that didn't look like it took it all I didn't get anything banana out of there so I'm definitely glad to see it in this clutch looks like we got another normal baby here Ooh, hold on, that's, I might have a dual sired clutch. This normal, if, I don't know if you can see this white spot right on the belly there. Let me see if I can get that in there. You can see this little bit of white right there. There's a floating pattern on the bottom of my uh, import that, that really looks like. So I might have a dual sired clutch. We'll see once that one comes out if he's got more, he or she's got more of that floating pattern. I'm going to save that one for last. That's the biggest egg in there. Go here. This is one of the smaller eggs. Roll the veins off the top. Come on, banana. Looks a little dark in this egg, so probably not. Can't hope to wish though, or can't hurt to wish. Let's see what we got here. There's a normal. Um, uh, maybe not. This one looks like it's got some of that floating pattern too in there. So there's a couple of these. We'll have to see when they come out. And the pattern's super reduced on it, so not a lot of alien eyes or anything. All right, last one. I'm pretty excited about those bananas. That's a that's pretty cool for me. Something I've been wanting to do. This one's leaking out on me. Let me put them a different way. There we go. Get that goop out of there. All right, egg number eight. I'm pretty excited about this clutch actually, because those two appear like maybe my import did get in there which would be nice there are unproven genetics in the imports from Mike Friedman again at the Florida Reptile Ranch I did buy two of them oh maybe we got another banana here I sure do cool And the, that banana. Pretty nice. I'm pretty excited about that. Let's see if we got any movement in there. Hmm. Oop, there he moved. Now I know he's alive. You see he's sitting right on top of his yolk sack in there. So we'll go ahead and get these back in the incubator. Here in just a second. I'm so, to get out. huh? Trying to come out a little bit. So we got one, two, three bananas, and two. I'm not sure on these. Now you can really see that floating pattern in there. Oh, he's rolling on me. Oh, he's rolled over on top of it, but. We'll look at that a little bit more when it comes out and see what's in there. I think this one might be the same way. Uh, no, not that one. I can't remember which one the other one was. But we'll find it for sure. We'll see. But so far, three bananas. I can't. Almost got 50 50 odds on that, so that's pretty good. A lot better than the last clutch we put the banana to, for sure. I didn't get any banana stuff out of there. So. This is looking pretty good. All right, guys. We'll give you an update once I come out of the egg and shed. And... Till next time.